Okay, let's us continue. But yes, the weather is absolutely disgusting right now, so. Oh, hold up. I need to make sure there's enough. Because I don't think I haven't, I have moved VODs in a while to the drive, so let me just make sure. Yeah, I need to take everything except the last one and move it. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of space, and that would be disastrous. Google says it's raining in Melbourne. I can guarantee you it's not. It says there's a chance of rain, but it's not. And I am like in Melbourne. The thing is, a lot of when a lot of people say they're from Melbourne, they're not really. They they refer to like the greater Melbourne area, which covers like I don't know. It's more or less where suburbia is, so you know. But it's not the the city, the inner city. Also, sorry, I'm just waiting for my drive to load up so I can move these VODs in there. This one's almost full, so... Okay, and it's moving. Alright, cool. 9.5 Celsius where you are, that's nice. That's a comfortable temperature. It's, uh... Where Cat is, it's negative 4, or 24.8. And she has the window open to get the, uh, the cozy breeze. The cozy negative 4 breeze. Okay, so now we can go to... ...to the islands. Before that, it was called a shit, your island ass was not ready for slipping around on ice. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I would be the same. I mean, Australia's an island, just a massive one. It's an island and a continent. It's okay, it's a rite of passage, apparently, slipping on ice. It's been ages since I've done this, so I need to think, like, what's the first thing I'm going to address on the island? Oh, I put these in here by accident.
I haven't made juice. Maybe I should make veggie juice. I need to do like a shipment of it anyway. Anyone want some corn juice? Mm mm, delicious. You wear non slip shoes because the restaurant you because restaurant work and all because you have terrible false sense of security. Ah. Yeah, I feel like I would injure myself pretty badly. I don't want my first trip to like a country that has snow being that I, I incapacitate myself because I slip on ice. That would really suck. But I wouldn't be surprised if I did do something like that, you know? Like, imagine I host a meetup somewhere in Europe and it's in winter, and then all of you watch me eat shit <laughs> on ice. And then that's it, like, that's the end of it. See me for like 20 seconds and then I'm hospitalized because ice. Oh yeah, the bridge is there now, so that's nice and convenient. Um, I need to start working on gold bars, so... But you know, we're going to Ginger Island today. Because it's very limited what we can do at the start from memory. Um, the kid, he likes feathers, doesn't he? From memory, pretty sure he does. Where did I put totems? Get out. Just to save a little time. Right, at the pay. She looks good as new. And we'll see this for the first time. Because it doesn't eat at time. I like the scene. Oh yeah, dude. I had, uh... A Korean hot dog for lunch. It was so good, it was like... Bulgogi. On it. It was great. So damn good. <laughs> oh, it's the kid. There you are. Hello. Right, and then the journal scraps. And then there's the whole nut system. Beep. 
You're gonna save the golden walnut. Banana, which we don't have yet. Taro to bar. I forgot how you get. Let's just see the kid first. Right, he won't come out of the tree right away. There you go, one. Give? You would do some heinous shit for some bulgogi right now. <laughs> It's pretty good. The boy looks at you with curious eyes. He seems to have a close bond with the parrots. But he's too busy. Oh, sorry. He's too shy to approach right now. I don't know why I said busy. Why did I say busy? Perhaps making friends with the parrots could earn his trust. He's too busy. Like, I know there's paths hidden along here. Oh, you know what? You need a slingshot, don't you? Uh-oh. I may have scrapped my slingshot or deleted it. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. I never used them, and then I remembered, wait a minute, you have to slingshot in this, don't you? I'm pretty sure these trees that overhang. I know one of these leads to the cliff, I just can't remember where. Alright, let's just, for now, forget it. Like, one of them lead up there. I'm not sure which one. Wait, what? Oh, right. Let's see how many I can get in this first day. I don't mind backseating in this one, because I've done this content, so, you know, getting reminders of where they are would be good. Oh yeah, right, he's stuck in the cave. I'm not sure I can do this right now. Oh yeah, that high ground. Ah, uh, shit, I forgot how to get up there. Alright, leave that for now. What? 
Jeez. Trash. I know there's some in here. There we go. Uh... Good enough. I mean, for one day, that's not bad already. Right, I'm gonna see how far I can go here. I do have totems to get me home, so... There's some that are just random that you'll just get for, uh, killing stuff. Oh, I thought that was, like, a circle. Hiding a secret. I need cinder shards, so I need to kill those things. I don't know how far I'll be able to get here. But at the very least, I hope to get to the summit and then be able to push that button. I missed a what? A paper scrap. Oh. It's too late now, right? Where'd I miss it? Where? Okay, I'm gonna pause. Elaborate. Where? It dropped near the left side cliff. Here in this map? Or outside? That thing there. Okay. Got ya. Yep, thank you. Thanks, cat. I mean, that one usually just gets me torches anyway. The other one has a chance for cloth. Fine. 
Is this one... One of these ones is gonna have a button and it's gonna suck. Yeah, I mean... Okay, hang on. Dude! I don't know if I can push it in another minute. Warp Turtle Island recipe. I feel like that's worth getting. That's just going to save me a lot of money. Let's just get these recipes now so that I don't have to think about it. I'll go until I can't go anymore. Yeah, okay, I can't go anymore. Just get this in the shards and go. Okay. I mean, not too bad. Like, I got a dozen. There's less responsibility tomorrow. Oh, no, I can't go tomorrow because the jelly thing and the willy's going to be closed. Unless he's left it open, but most likely he's going to be closed. Okay, I'm going to put these here cause, so they're separate. Most likely I can't go. Mario laughs when I make funny noises and faces. I, uh, I have to, I have to play with my child. Not yet. Still an infant. I can't lift him up yet. Alright, then a little neglect is fine. Yep. It's this event. I don't have coal. Okay, I need to I need to start making coal. I need to make the gold bars. Two lots of it. I won't do it today, but just so I have some coal. Uh, Tara tubers are going to go on the other map, and I'll probably find more today. Let's do Queen of Sauce before I forget. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, roasted hazelnuts. It's got a nice old hazelnut tree. Sorry, I've got a nice old hazelnut tree behind my house, and every year I invite the family over for a nut roasting party. Once we start roasting, it's inevitable that the neighbors will show up. That rich, nutty smell is irresistible. Now here's the family recipe. Okay. Jeez, what was that?
trying to think if I should bring a single explosive with me. Or maybe like a few, just to help me. Yeah, look, that can go. Uh, I mean, that hammer, eh? I'm not gonna warp there just in case he doesn't let me, you know? Um, alright, let's go. If he doesn't, I guess I'll do a bunch of coal. Cut some trees down. Yep. Okay, I can't. So, we're gonna just go do a bunch of deforestation. <laughs> a whole day of cutting down trees. Don't really care where, let's just... Get started. Why can't I be on this ho this horse and just swing the axe, you know? I'm sure I could do it. That means tomorrow I'm gonna not go there either because I have to spend the time preparing full crops. So, yeah. I do appreciate the variety here, though. It's not just the one tree. I feel like the other forest should be like this one. Oh. It's gonna tip in that direction. Uh, I'll go in there. I'll fetch it. Oh, these are decorative. You can't even run through them. Alright, what have we got? I suppose I could grow one of these. Just for shits and giggles.
I mean, that's not bad. 680. Last time I can get these. I still haven't looked up what they're used for, but they'll be there. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever grew those. Put them in the greenhouse. My bad, wrong tool. Oh no. Can I get Uh It's off screen. Oh well. Had a fifty fifty chance of falling one way or the other. I'm not sure how I feel about this, what, this forest. Like, on the one hand, it's nice, but on the other hand, it's like, this is quite a bunch of wood you can get. Almost to the point where, like, I don't know, I almost appreciated the pace of the original. Like, I'm gonna get easily 2,000 wood from one day. The Lua's at 10, I mean, not the Lua, the star jellyfish thing. So I'll head there in like a couple of minutes.
Just a couple more trees. I can get there in like a minute. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I got my 2,000 wood. Got like, I think I'll make it there in time. Just go from the lower path down, and there we go. Okay, well, with this, just talk to people, get it over with. I'm not gonna read. I think Kent is the only one that is is the one that I haven't had at this event, so. Oh, maybe What's-Her-Face will be here too, actually. Alright, so there might be like one or two people that I'll read. Oh, Sandy's here, okay. There's, there's another person that I can read. Good evening, Warrior. Hope you can find some time to relax before the harvest season. Alright, that's it. Hi there, honey. To tell you the truth, I've been looking forward to this moment. Okay. These are all the same. Hey, I'm Gunther. Recent discoveries have found moonlight jellies possess a magical aura. Okay. It doesn't look like she's here. I thought she might be here. Maybe she's just part of content that isn't finished yet. That's everyone, right? Pretty sure. Alright. Get it started. I wish I could skip it, but I can't. It's okay. We'll just watch it. Alright. Well, uh, let me think. I guess get whatever seeds. The fall seed is beets, so... Uh, from Sandy. Trying to think what else I can get. I, I'm probably just gonna stick with pumpkins and then. Oh, I forgot to get the flowers again, but <laughs> whatever. It's okay. Oh, wait, no, the season's not over yet. I can still get them. We're okay. 
Okay, I remember them. Ha ha! Alright, get this before... Uh, just these ones, because... The others will be fine, it's just these... Shit. Okay, I'll do it. This just eats up so much inventory space. Um, okay, hang on. I'm gonna start tearing this apart as well. I can tear apart a bit of it, but not all of it. I'll move these chests. Okay, let's go. New season. I'm just going to move them to the side, pretty much. I will make the room. That's everything, I think. Oh, I'll keep that on me. Okay. Wait, this is the wrong one. have both either way. This still works. I guess that's the edge right there. Alright. Uh, 
I will move these. Just not yet. These are gonna move. Whoops. Uh, where's my scythe? I thought I had it on me. Alright, just keep going. Okay, it still works. Alright, there we go. Is there anything I can do here that's easy? Okay, these. I think these are the only two flowers, so... What is this? Oh, it's... it's her. What a lovely view. <laughs> Behind you, Aria. Wondering why I'm here, aren't you? Let's just say I grew a tad bored of Razzie's mage meeting, and I sense you are here alone. Go fishing here often? Why don't I use a little magic to make things a little more interesting? Uh, Neen, Vini, Ana, Anora. And Rima, Anaraya, Ango, Angui. Does this mean anything? Like maybe, maybe there's like a way to to decode this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not not gonna try it. Voila! The puppy fish have more friends to play with now. Oh, she made a... 
With that, I make my marvelous departure. Ciao, Wario. <laughs> okay. So there is one of those. There's something meowing in the water. What a charming pumpkin. Pierre did himself again. Hello, dear. It's wonderful to see you. How was your day? I'm having a great day, and you? Oh, my day as well. It's a bit on the chilly side, though. Hear that? It's a bit on the chilly side. Some pesky crows ruined one of our pumpkins this morning. Pierre was kind enough to give me a replacement. I passed Warrior's farm recently on the morning walk. Your grandfather would be proud of how much progress you've made, Warrior. I wish your grandpa was still here. He was an absolute joy to everyone in the valley. I can tell you about him. We were close friends when he was living on the farm. I would love to know about my grandpa. Of course, dear, it would be my pleasure. Your grandpa was charismatic. He had an exceptional amount of integrity, generosity, empathy, and humility. In many ways, you two are very similar. When he first moved to the valley, Pelican Town had just begun to attract residents, and most of the region wasn't developed yet. The land was so cheap, he was able to purchase a large plot of land that became the farm you inherited. He never raised any animals and focused on cultivation. His farm was one of the largest and most beautiful or bountiful in the Fern Gill Republic. When he obtained enough funds, he had a greenhouse constructed on the property. He was overjoyed when it was finally finished. I remember him bringing the town handfuls of fresh strawberries and blueberries in the dead of winter. He always wanted us to share in his happiness. He met his wife here, and they had a wonderful child. Your father, dear. It was such a lovely family. Your grandpa retired, oh, when he was about 60, and moved to Pine Mesa City. He wanted to pass down his farm to your father, but he had other dreams and wanted to follow in his own path. The farmland was never sold. He paid for the land every year and kept the deed. With no one taking care of the farm, nature eventually reclaimed it. As you saw when you first arrived, it was completely overgrown. I didn't understand why he held onto the land until you arrived, and then I realized he never stopped thinking about the farm as a piece of his family. I'm glad you know more about your grandpa, dear. I understand you were just a child when he passed away. He was a remarkable person, and I see so much of him in you. I need to walk over to Pierre's and thank him again for this pumpkin. It's perfect for this haystack. Enjoy the rest of your day, sweetie. Oh, I got put over here. That's a mildly inconvenient. Oh, come on! All right, that concludes our aerobics class. Are you breaking a sweat? <laughs> yes? Wario, you are watching me? How embarrassing, I didn't want anyone to know. Least of all you. I'm trying 
to stay healthy as you get older it requires more effort. I'm not in very good shape though, I can hardly keep up with them. Look, don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics, okay? Okay. Thanks, Warrior, I appreciate that. Alright. Should be enough for two lots. Okay, and then oh, amaranth, right? I mean, that should be enough for that. I don't know, twenty. Let's just get twenty-five. Artichoke, right? I'll go forty-eight of these. This we're gonna need a lot of, so let's just go to one twenty-eight. I think I have everything else. I could plant another one of each tree. I might just do that. Peach, pomegranate, apple. That's for the greenhouse. Alright. Go to the desert. Can't really pick up any of those. I'm kind of stacked <laughs> inventory wise. Okay. Uh, where are they? Beats. <laughs> yes, I will stop getting these eventually, just not yet. Wait, she said I look parched, does that mean she's gonna give me milk? Hello, sweetie, I'm so glad the bus is back in service. Okay, well, I did buy a whole bunch of seeds from you. Okay. Oh yeah, and I have these to put on. I have a bunch of stuff to do today. Okay. Oh yeah, my scythe. Where did I put the scythe? It would have had to have gone in one of these chests. There it is. Okay. I'm going to plant these and go tend to the animals, because I haven't done that yet. Okay, uh, let's do these. I'm going to double up on eggplant. Okay, now these. Okay, pumpkin here. I'm gonna go on pumpkin. 
And then the second half of the season, I'll plant the others. Okay, that'll, that'll do. I'll put these seeds in here because it's all like one season. So it's all isolated. Alright. Uh... Let's take out the fertilizer. I'm gonna need more of it, so... I'm kind of surprised. It's 4pm and I got most of this done already. Usually... <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm still struggling. Oh, this is fine. I thought holding shift crafted them in lots of five, but I guess I'm wrong. We just have to sit here. Yeah, I mean, that should be enough. I just wanted to condense because I have way too much sap. <laughs> Still have an extra stack. I'll tend to that at the very end. Mama Bear farm is looking great. Haven't been able to catch stream in a while. That's understandable. I mean, the time of year where like people are busy and also my time zone doesn't help. <laughs> That's completely understandable, but I think it's going well. I just got to the Ginger Islands yesterday, but unfortunately, I have to set this up before I can go there again. Oh, I missed one. Time zones can be a problem. Yep. Pretty much for me, I either have to stay up late or I have to get up early to catch people. Oh yeah, I forgot to put a sign here. In the case of tonight, it's like, it's hot here anyway, so sleep is going to be difficult anyway, so I figured I'd stay up. Speaking of, has it cooled down yet, or is it still disgusting? Nope, still disgusting. <laughs> It was supposed to cool down. It hasn't. No refrigeration or air conditioning. Oh no, I have air conditioning. I just was wondering before if I could turn it off. But the answer is no. It's uh... Still 24.8 outside. No, wait, not that. That's the wrong unit. What is it? 27. In Celsius, 80 in Fahrenheit. There we go. That's the correct conversion. Well, that might not sound bad, but it's, it's past midnight. <laughs> it's, for it to be hot at that time of night, it just makes it uncomfortable to sleep. Even with air conditioning on, it's just...
Is it humid? Uh, it's a little bit, not too bad. In Melbourne, you get a mix of dry heat and humidity. It kind of alternates. Okay, see, ugh. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. I got all of them, right? I, I didn't, I didn't see a gap there. It's fine. All right, uh, now I can plant these here. Okay, so wait, what have I got here? This is pomegranate. Okay. Pomegranate. This is orange. Apple. Where's cherry? Did I not buy a cherry tree? I thought I bought one of each. No, I did. I did. <laughs> I just didn't see it. Okay, we're fine. Alright, that's the greenhouse complete. Again, the one complaint I have about this greenhouse is just... ...an odd number. A prime number, so it's... No matter which way I split it, there's no way to divide this evenly. Uh, what should I make? Oh wait, that shouldn't go in there. Uh... I suppose I have a lot of these fruit. Let's do that. Wait, have I sold? I don't think I've sold this berry. Okay, sell 15 of them. Yeah, um... Sorry if I'm not, like, big <laughs> on conversation. It is late for me, but I was gonna ask, like, how Christmas was and everything. But... I was, like, on my train of thought of, okay, what am I doing now? What... What have I got left to do before the day ends? Uh, berries. Perfect, there's 15 of them. That works. One, two, and keep the duck feathers, because I'm pretty sure Island Boy likes them. I'll put these in here, and then the others can... I have a little bit of time left in the day, so... I'm gonna go chop some hardwood. Oh, wait, no, you know what? I got a better idea. Oh. Hang on. What am I... Uh, no. I don't think I can fit it in. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, had the house full of family for 10 days and it was busy. Nice. 10 days, damn. So did you have people from in a state visiting or just the usual thing you do? Uh, my Christmas is alright. Typically it's just, uh, we do it on the 24th. And stay up till midnight and then open presents then. Uh, go see my parents, have lunch there, and then I went to my aunt's with everyone. So, you know, I got to hang out with my cousins and... It's a pretty big family. Oh, what? No, what? What dam- what damaged the farm? Please don't tell me it's something major. What damaged the farm? What damaged the- Okay, it's fine. That's nothing. I probably should have been better at checking that. I got worried for a sec. <laughs> it's okay. I have to keep working on these gold bars. Penny's birthday. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, this is kind of awkward. I might just put that, um, that seed that I didn't grow last season there. What was it called again? Ancient Fern Seed. Hang on. Okay, let me look these up. Uh, ancient... There it is, ancient fern seed. So that yields ancient fiber, which is different. And then, what was the other one? Shrub seed. Okay, that's the one that does salal berries, which I've already got enough of. Okay, so it is that one. Sorry, one sec. You had a daughter and grandson from out of state, and a daughter, son in law, and granddaughter from in state. Sister and niece stopped by one day, just busy. Yeah. Uh, I can definitely imagine. I mean, dinner is pretty busy for us as well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do there. Like, it's, it's just going to be awkward either way. Uh, Alright. I'll leave it to chance. I'll just put a mixed seed there. What's it going to be? Eggplant? Uh, does, does that work? I think that plant keeps yielding stuff, so... I think it did work. Alright, uh... 
Do I need to keep giving Penny stuff? I can't tell. Yes, okay. I think I know what she likes, but I'm just double checking. Yeah, so melon, poppy. Yeah, but I got poppy. I got plenty of poppy. I mean, if you can't decide, let the game decide for you. Or I'll just ask and let someone decide for me, <laughs> but I think the mixed seed is a good solution. Okay, do I have anything else to do before I go? I think I just need to put gold bars on and give the present. No, 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 not that. Okay. Island time. After presents. Okay, I don't need that. I'm pretty sure I need everything else. I'm gonna put this coffee away. Take a feather for the kid. Uh, now gold ore. There we go. How many do you need? 30, okay. So it's still a while away. Uh, I guess I'll put this truffle on. Um, I don't remember how many shards are required to upgrade, but I feel like I should take three of these with me. And I'll bring the shards as well. I think I have enough. Okay, let's just go give Penny a present and go. Where are you, Penny? Okay, she's just teaching the kids. Fairy Rose Garden. I, I should probably do this. Uh, what does it involve? Drop off fairy seeds at her chest. Drop off fairy stone. Drop off fairy dust. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Uh. Uh oh. How do you get the recipe for fairy dust? Hang on. Fairy underscore dust. I might not be able to do this. The Pirate's Wife Quest. Okay, the old lady living on Ginger Island. Keepsake of the husband. Ooh, I 
I have till the end of the month, so I guess the hardest thing is the dust. Okay, okay. I, I think I can do this. I, I thought it was just plant fairy rose and that would have been easy. There you go. Alright. That's that relationship done. Oh, what's this? Good afternoon, warrior. One moment, please. The next batch of my signature pumpkin spice cider is almost ready. I made a few batch. Oh, I make a few batches every year during the fall. There's nothing like sweet spice pumpkin with a kick to warm you up in the chilly winter. That's just something we don't do here, pumpkin spice. Say, would you like to share a bottle with me, warrior? Like, not even as a novelty, I've never seen it here. Sure. Follow me back here, warrior. I have a freshly made batch. Credit to Leah for the cover art on the bottles. Here you are, warrior. It has a sweet kick to it. Is this going to slow me down? P.S. Pumpkin Spice Cider was delicious. Went through the entire bottle. Pumpkin Spice is a big deal here. I think mostly because of Starbucks. Yeah, that makes sense. See here, it's the polar opposite. They tried to open Starbucks here and it really aggressively. They opened several hundred stores very quickly. And then... To put a long story short, Australians are basically coffee snobs. <laughs> we have a very European coffee culture here, so... They, uh, they went broke pretty quickly. They sold the brand and now the only Starbucks you'll find are in capital cities. So then Americans have a familiar face. And that's... they don't exist anywhere else. Can't say I ever went to it when it was open everywhere. I mean, maybe they had pumpkin spice, but I don't know. It was one of those things that, like, I think it was their pricing as well. It was just like, why would I go to Starbucks and pay for, like, coffee syrup, sugar water when I could go to, like, any local cafe and get something infinitely better? They had to try extra hard here, like... I was showing the Starbucks Australia menu... ...a long time ago, and yeah... <laughs> ...the food that they serve there is kinda... ...nuts. Cause that's, a, that's who they have to compete with. Cafes here, they do... Pretty good food. Wait. It... Was this always here or is this new? I feel like this wasn't always there. I might be wrong. Don't have any big coffee chains there, mostly individual cafes. Uh, we do have chains. I think one of the bigger ones is Gloria Jeans. Um, and then McDonald's, like, they started the McCafe here in Australia. But 
but other than that, it's... I mean... Unless you, you're, you're on the go and super busy, people generally go to local cafes here. Just because, I don't know, like, the coffee culture is very European. They want coffee beans ground fresh and then, you know, made on the spot properly with a trained barista. And then you usually get food when you're there, so if it's in the morning, you'll grab breakfast. Or you go and hang out with someone for lunch. Or uh, maybe you go work there, like... Pretty common for people in software development to just go out to a coffee place and just sit down and work. Particularly Melbourne and Sydney, those are like the two cities that are definitely the biggest coffee snobs. So, I mean, the coffee chains that do exist here, they they have to up the ante because they have to provide good food. Otherwise, they just don't compete. <laughs> and if you're curious, go have a look at Starbucks Australia's website and browse their food category and compare it to the American menu. It's kind of crazy how many extra food items there are and the variety. I think for me it was just ultimately the the price that they were asking. Just I just felt like, hmm, nah. All this coffee talk now you want some. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> it always inevitably ends up with food conversation here, one way or another. It is something most people have in common, everyone eats. That is true. It just comes up pretty, pretty frequently. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the fence here. You love food? Yeah. I mean, I don't like to admit it, but I, I do like my food, and people have joked that I'm a bit of a foodie, but I mean, I'm spoilt here. Like, there's a misconception that Australia doesn't have good food just because we're a British colony and they expect us to be like the UK. But, uh,. Melbourne and Sydney are just gigantic melting pots when it comes to food. You can get... Name a country, you can basically find food here from it. You know, whilst... I guess the Australian staples, they're kind of boring. The stuff that comes from Asian influences is pretty damn good.
We should probably just focus on getting to the top of this. I mean, the shards are nice, but like, it's probably best for me to progress. Like, yeah, today I was talking earlier that I went to a, uh, a hot dog truck, because that's something we didn't really have here until recently, but, um, they have this hot dog truck that's, like, Korean. So you get hot dogs with Korean toppings on it, and it is super good. So I had this hot dog with bulgogi on it, it was amazing. This has a button, but I don't know where it is. Food trucks are really fun. They are. Particularly ones that put their own spin on something. Right. Oh, there's a second button. Oh no, where is it? 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 Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm blind. I got three more floors to go and I got like a minute to do it in. Uh, I probably won't get it done. Unless I... Oh, this is horrible. But if, as long as I get there, and I just open the door, it's fine. I don't have to do much else. Okay, just just run past. Ooh, no, don't care. I think I am screwed. This looks this looks bad. No, I'm fine. Yes. Okay, one a.m. Okay, I got to the top. I got to the top. <laughs> I got enough time to get home. There's the forge. Oh, yeah, right, you. Few adventurers have scaled Mount Calder. Oh, come on. That, that has to be on purpose. Mount Calder, really? Once a great dwarf kingdom, your achievement is a testament to your ambition and perseverance. Behind me is a lava-fed furnace capable of enchanting weapons and tools. It can even combine divine properties of magical rings. A suiting reward for someone of your stature. I might just combine the ring first, to be honest. I trust we'll make good use of this ancient dwarvish relic, warrior. The first slash sends their regard. Okay, I've met him. Okay. It just phases out of existence. What is this? Ah, I get a free one. Okay, uh... So how do you do this? It's like... I want to do this. 20. Ooh. Okay, hang on. How much is... 20. It's 20 either way, so I can either upgrade my sword, but I think I'm gonna go with this, so then my slang, slam ring is combined with this, and then I can wear the defensive ring, so then it's easier to get through this. Inventory folder, what do you mean? Oh no. Okay, hang on. <laughs> That's the gonna my inventory first. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Uh, I don't have enough shards to do anything else, but I need to make sure I just open this up. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, now it's not a problem.
I can just go there anytime. I might throw this ginger in the seed. Just to get ginger seeds. Wait. Because then I can start... Oh no, get in bed! <laughs> then I can start making the totem. Once I have seeds for it. Oh, do they even give seeds? I think you just find it, actually. I might be wrong here. I don't remember. It's been a while. Good morning, silly. It's my day to make breakfast. So, um... What would you like to eat? Surprise me. The usual, how about something you like? Huh. Yeah, surprise me. Why not? Surprise you? Okay. Okay, I'll get to work in the kitchen then. I know you have work to do, so I'll grab you outside when the food is ready. Oh, it's still the same cutscene. Breakfast is ready. Oh. Do you know what? That's great. <laughs> so, I didn't complete my energy. Um, so, it's the busiest season for me at the vineyard. I was wondering, could you help me harvest the grapes and put them in kegs? Okay. Yay. Thank you so, so much. Meet me at the vineyard at 10am. I'm not going to the island today. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wanted to go to the island. Okay, fine. Yeah. I mean, look, it, it's a partnership. I can't let her do that on her own. I bring important news from the Ferngill Republic Ministry of Magic. It would appear a high-ranking council member has expressed interest in developing your arcane potential, which isn't a common occurrence. Oh? My colleagues have tasked me in teaching you with warp magic. Meet me at my tower at your earliest convenience. <laughs> but I have to be I have to be at the vineyard at 10 a.m. Don't oh, stop it. <laughs> Good morning, Mario. I hope I'm not intruding. Like the whole town has something for me to do today. I heard from a colleague your farmland was extraordinary. Their description barely did it justice. This place is breathtaking. Ah, of course, allow me the opportunity to explain why I'm here. I received word from your guild administrator, Gil, that Marlin was looking to, to contract with a combat mage. After reviewing the relevant tasks and missions, I decided to accept. And I must admit, after we met at Mount Calder's Caldera, you piqued my interest. I'd like to get to know you better, but I travel quite often. So, at the risk of being a little forward, here's my schedule. Wow. We will meet again soon. I'll be taking my leave now. Farewell, Oreo. Anything else? No? Okay. I can start my day. Okay, so Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Right. That's actually pretty nice. I wish every character had something like that. Not gonna lie, that's pretty useful. Okay, uh, I still have more to do. Okay. 
I should have put that to recycle. I suppose not too late. Uh, nope. So wait, does this work? No, not that. It doesn't work, so it's forage. Okay. Time. I gotta get to that other vineyard at 10. Hopefully it's just a cutscene and then it, it gives me the rest of my day, but... Oh, let's see. Uh... Okay, hold on. What am I putting on here? Okay, hops. I made delicious corn juice. <laughs> That can't be a real thing. Mm -mm -mm. You can really taste the corn. Thank you, pig. That was mighty convenient of you. Corn juice might be good for cooking, but don't think you want to drink it. Yeah. That sounds about right. But I mean, this bottle... This is like the kind of bottle that you pop open at a special occasion. Ah, this calls for a celebration. Let me go into the cellar and get our finest corn juice. This one's a 1998. Vintage. You can taste the oak. Something something notes. I don't know how people that are fans with wine talk, but it's, it's something along those lines. I mean, I know vegetable juice is a thing, like, there's that brand V8. Which someone gave me once, and it was quite the shock. Because I wasn't expecting it, it was just like, hey, drink this, alright. I trusted that person. Okay, let's get to the vineyard. I know we need mushroom- I need to keep these in inventory because there's island trading to be done. Yeah, that was quite the shock the first time I had V8. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Uh, what do you want? Okay, that's easy. <laughs> I have to do so many things. Okay, uh... Oh, I have six truffles with me. Ugh. Okay. It's okay, this is just a cutscene. Oh, warrior. It's perfect timing that you showed up. I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. You know, all about life in the country, right? So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? Sure. Great. Let me just call the children over. Jazz Vincent, may I have your attention, please? 
I have a very special guest here to talk with you today, our very own local farmer, Wario. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very good, that's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes! Okay, now let's give Warrior our full attention. Uh, farming, gathering from the wild, sure. The vegetable, oh, the ve <laughs> vegetable. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. The valley's air and grass are perfect for raising animals. That one. Yes, Vincent? Uh, Farmer Warrior, if I eat your veggies, will I grow up to be strong like my big brother Sam? He's strong, so I, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. <laughs> Wait, what? Vincent, it's not good to gossip. Has he always said that? Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. I guess if... I guess if you're married, I guess that's what happens. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids, but I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn, and hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Would you ever want to be a parent, Wario? Uh, I mean, from Wario's perspective... <laughs> I don't think I'd be good at it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, sure. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Oreo. I think the kids had a great time. Okay. I'm light. She said ten. Okay. There we go. I think it's just a cutscene. I think I do get to go. You're here! Um, we can start harvesting this field first. Let's grab our garden snips and baskets. Oh. I guess they're still working on this, because it's not removing the plant. Wait, the stuff behind her house? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey! You look cute over there. I do like her cutscenes, they're pretty nice. We're finally done, free at last! Hey silly, there's something I want to share with you. Um, I want to share my family's secret grape fermentation method with you. It's what make, makes Blue Moon Vineyard's wine taste so special. Sophia's Vineyard Trade Secrets. She really trusted me with this. Grapes are now worth twice as much. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to make the wine, but I guess that's fine. It's a family secret, and we're family now.
Okay. It's just a cutscene. Yes, I get the rest of the day. Okay, I'm going to the wizard's tower. I was worried. You just never know with this game. Sometimes you go somewhere and then it's like, haha, this festival ends at 2 p.m., but we're going to send you home at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like the horse, but sometimes it's like, really? Come on, you, you, you can do it. Just jump over it. Stomp it. It's it's a it's a bush. Ah, you're right. Precisely at the time I foresaw, I prepared an elixir, one that will help you tap into some new types of magic. It's quite potent. Okay. Whoa. Breathe deeply. Try to remain still. I feel as if something has changed within myself. You now have the ability to summon warp runes. It is also it is a great privilege, but also a responsibility. You must master this new magic. We will begin training at once. Okay. Interesting. A demonstration. Oh, these things. <laughs> well done. I can now summon teleportation runes. Truly outstanding. You've exceeded my expectations. We must now secure your nexus. There's a secluded forest north of warriors flowing with mana. A suitable place to summon warp runes. Meet me there. Um, yeah, I guess it depends how this works. Like, we'll see in a minute. There are some cool ideas in this. Uh, but then there's other stuff where I'm like, okay, that is a little too strong. So he said north of where I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to the, the beach today. It's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Okay, here it is. Oh, this opened up. Follow me, Wario, don't stray too far. Oh. Mana flows freely in this secluded grove. It's a perfect location for your nexus. With our combined magic and my guidance, we can alter the flow of time here. Come, channel your mana. Open your eyes. Sorry, like that flash of uh, red, green, blue. Oh. Magnificent, isn't it? Your enchanted grove is safeguarded from the changing seasons, weather, and prying eyes. We're not quite done yet. You still need to create your first warp point. Okay. I believe it's only suitable if it's to my own nexus. Let us depart to my warp hall, Wario. Okay. During the lesson, I explained that in order to connect a location to your nexus, you need something that came into being there. I brewed this potion today in this very tower. It's suitable enough to complete the spell.
You received a wizard's potion. Place the potion on the hex and summon your warp runes. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to follow along. Like, I hope it's not too complicated. Well done. The warp runes link to your nexus successfully. Why don't you teleport there now? It's a sight to behold. Okay. <laughs> You're stealing my nose and giving it to a bear hero. That just sounds like a Family Guy sketch, like... Peter playing Got Your Nose with Stewie, and then suddenly a bear just breaks through the door and just attacks him. Ah, times owl statues, a hex circle, and the smell of fresh moss. I wouldn't expect anything less. Seek out other areas of interest and expand your nexus. In due time, a colleague of mine will pay you a visit. Well done today. I knew there was something special about you. The moment you set foot in Stardew Valley. So, I mean, this just seems like a stronger version of Totems. This just seems like a stronger... Wait a minute, what is this? Dewdrop Berry? Okay, and the... there's even a crop here. Okay. You need to say random things when you enter. Yeah. You know a running joke here for a while? One of my moderators, when he used to work a uh, security job where he was working dead hours of the night, he used to just say, I'd, I'd be like, what's up? And he would make up something that he was doing. Well, obviously he was at a security job, so... I challenged him to see how many unique ones he could come up with before he... Uh, Ran out of things, so... I think that went for, like, a good six months before it stopped. <laughs> like... <laughs> I was kind of impressed with... The number of unique things he was doing. As opposed to being at a security job. I'm sorry. If I eat... Look, look at this. Look at this thing. If I eat this... It completely replenishes my health and energy. Two luck. No, come on. That's way too strong. Like, what do you mean? This is why I have a problem with mods sometimes. It's just, they just take it too far. I love ideas when they put them in. And they're interesting and cool. But stuff like this, it's just straight up like, there is not a single item... There is not a single item in the entirety of the base game that is comes close to this. Are those permanent boosts? No, it's just you just it just restores that and then it gives you those buffs for X amount of time. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I'll... You, I'm not gonna eat it, but... Unless those are the only four I get. Ever. Like, I'm gonna be a little upset if they grow there every day. Like, I just go there and they're just there. Like, that's... That's just... That's way too much. I'm gonna be a little upset. Um... I guess I'll have to see where else I can get this teleport thing. Hey you, I wanted to talk to you about something. The Zuzu City Comic Con badges just went on sale. It's happening next spring. I really want to go with you. There'll be lots of things to do and see. Merch, art, all kinds of amazing cosplay. What do you think? Yeah. Yay. I'm gonna wear... My journey of the Prairie King cosplay and do my skit. It'll be so much fun. Why do I have a painting of a different woman on my wall? Who says it's a different woman? 
Oh, I guess you're right. Like, the natural pink hair and the natural blue hair. <laughs> you're right. My bad. I'll buy a badges. I'm so happy you want to go with me. Sophia and I are going to Zuzu City Comic Con next spring. It'll be an experience. Okay. Gotta look for a bit. All good, all good. Well, thanks for popping in, Mama Bear. If I don't see you again, as it is late here. <laughs> so, I'm not sure for how much longer I'll be playing. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the chest here. I think I'm just gonna stay here and just keep generating coal and... Wait, didn't I have a spot for blackberries? No. Okay, hang on. What? What's something up? That can go. There we go. I'm just looking at condensing opportunities. There, there's another one. Alright, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make more coal, and I guess I'll put another lot of these on. I got... I think it's a waste to go to the island on half a day, so let's just... Wait, wrong thing. Oh no, it's here. I just can't see it. Okay, and I guess now we just sit here. You know what I hate hearing the sound of is like stuff plugging and unplugging when I'm not doing anything. That's always concerning. It could be that something's done charging and it's just like, haha, I'm gonna unplug. But I, I can't think of a better way to spend today. I need to make more bars, so. And I need to get to 30. I'm thinking this will probably be my last day anyway, as it is pretty late. I should, yeah. Get back into the habit of, like, going to bed early-ish. It's nice to not have to worry about going to work the next day, but yeah. I need to normalize myself again. Uh, why do the Australian times don't have to be so bad? YouTube gives this interesting uh, thing. Now, if your channel has enough subscribers and people that have watched your content. Where it gives you like a graph of when your viewers are online. And of course for me it's pretty much like, hey. It's the same. It's like, stay up really late or get up early morning. And I, I guess I already knew that, but like, seeing it visualized, <laughs> it's not great. It's like 11 p.m. And then again at like 4 or 5 in the morning. What if I make another line of these? It's probably not a bad idea. It depends what- well, what do they cost? Because if it's a gold bar, yeah, that's not happening. Uh, where are they? Copper bar. I don't have any copper bars, so, uh, yeah, no. Okay, we can't do it anyway.
Well, I mean, it's nice to say that I have double digits of uh, coal again. I had to get like a thousand wood gone, but you know what? It's worth it. Right, that's the stack of wood pretty much gone. And they have the 30 gold bars. So I have his requirements. I suppose, yeah. When does it close? Doesn't really say, but I assume it's probably closed. I go pick up another one of these statues. Okay. Well, I suppose let's do the closing for the stream, but since uh, I'm not going to do another day, but I want to thank you for uh, tuning in today. It was fun doing a bit more Vampire Survivors, some of the insanity that brought, and just kicking back with this. I am enjoying these streams, and yeah, I know that the chill stuff has kind of taken a break for a while because of all the difficult games I've been playing, but it's nice to come back to these and just relax, so I do hope you've been enjoying them. Um, if you need a stream and you want to know when I go live, following is the best idea, but you can, of course, catch my content on YouTube if you look for my stream name or go to shambles.gg. It has links to everything. There's three channels. One for highlights, one for full streams and another one where I'm doing the occasional YouTube stream with some different content and uh, there's shorts up there too. And in case you've missed it, there's also the uh, end of year video, which is just a highlight of my favorite moments of this year and it's a, co a collection of clips and also some stuff that you may not have seen as it did not happen on the stream, so hope you do check that stuff out. But yeah, I just want to say I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, tomorrow's plan, I mean, let's face it, I'll probably do more of this. But I'll see if I can squeeze in some other time for other stuff. Checking in on this. Okay. I'll go to bed early, so then I have energy tomorrow. Uh, that's all done. Wait, really? That made a lot? <sighs> okay. It's a mix of the corn juice and the truffle oil. <laughs> it's not much truffle oil, but it did make a lot. And we will... Leave it here, but the next thing I guess I'm doing is, you know, we just arrived at Ginger Island, so hopefully I'll get to spend more time there. Okay. Exit the title, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>